So normally I think of gin as being a really fresh summery cocktail, but I wanted to use, I had a beautiful bottle of high clear gin I wanted to use to make some winter cocktails with. So to kind of get creative, I thought cranberry is a really nice festive flavor. Obviously bubbles have to be in there for Christmas and New Year and all the holidays. And then just to try and make it a little bit warmer so it's not so fresh and light for the summer, add some Grand Monnier to give it some depth and some orange flavor. So let's have a play with this today. I'm gonna to start with a martini shaker that's kind of half full of ice. I like a lot of ice to blend my cocktails. I kind of pre-prepped a glass. Here's one I made earlier, Blue Peter style, with glitter and a bit of confectioner's sugar, icing sugar, where, wherever you're from, whatever you call it, and literally just mixed it dry on a plate. Used a bit of lemon around the rim of the glass. And then I just rolled this into the mix. Now, if you make it too wet, the issue we were finding was that then it started to run and it didn't look quite as pretty, but that sugar just helps it. So I'm gonna to stick to it a bit more than just the glitter on its own. And then it's kind of a nice glittery rim on the glass. I'm sure the men will appreciate that, but us girls love all the sparkly stuff. And then I bought rosemary to decorate with. I like rosemary with gin to bring out the botanicals, but if you don't want to do that, you could always use cranberries or a slice of orange or orange peel, or whatever you want to decorate your cocktail with. So I'm going to start. I like to measure my martinis because I do think they come out. There's a better balance with measured martinis. So I'm going to start with a nice, generous an ounce and a half, two ounces of high clear gin. And then I have fresh cranberry juice. So if you find cranberry juice a little bit tart, this is where the simple syrup is going to come in. You can add some simple syrup to bring up the sweetness so it's not so tart for you. I'm going to do a double shot of this as well, ounce and a half. And then because I find Grand Monnier can be a bit overpowering or any kind of orange liqueur with that's contro, it can overpower the drink. So I'm gonna start with less than one side of this. So this is three quarters of ounces. I'm going to do half of the three quarter ounces. And you can always add more later, but it's harder to take it out than to add more. And then I'm gonna give it a good shake. Obviously the champagne is gonna go in last for obvious reasons, so we don't have a whole explosion in here. Tip for making sure you've blended and shook, shaken, and shook your martini enough is to make sure you have that condensation on the outside. Then I know it's kind of really nicely blended inside. Pour that into your pre-prepared martini glass. You could also do this in a champagne flute if you didn't want it so strong. You could add more champagne. I'm literally going to use it as a champagne float like I would a French martini. And I'm using a rosé, but you can use any bubbles, any Prosecco you have to hand. And then add the champagne slowly because it can react with cocktails. A little bit of rosemary for decoration and that is your Christmas gin cocktail. It's one of those cocktails that's really refreshing. So it's still got all the Christmassy flavors. It's got the cranberry, it's got the orange, it's got the gin and the bubbles. And it's just really rich and vibrant without being too heavy. So it's a great pre-dinner drink you could do with your hot appetizers and nibbly bits before your main event. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe.